everybody welcome back to a brand new video in today's video we're going to be reacting to tiktoks on financial business stock market side hustle advice slash ideas so let's get right into it without us more time if you're new here consider smashing that like button turn on your bell notification for more videos and if you've been a follower you know i haven't uploaded in a long time but we are back let's get right into today's video so we're going to look at some different topics like business finance investing stock market side hustle i'm going to react to a couple of videos from each topic tell you guys my honest opinion to see if they're actually good advice or if they're just random bs let's get right into it so here's this first video so i searched up as you can see on the screen right now business and the first video comes up is he here. makes ten thousand dollars a month operating vending machines remote now we already know this one is about vending machine but we're still gonna watch it to see how he does it what he does and how is he able to make ten thousand dollars a month because i've watched this video before and it's really fascinating what he does so let's watch it fascinating because he only spends about 10 hours a week quinn's monthly revenue is fifteen thousand dollars he has a net profit of nine thousand seven hundred and fifty and has about 27 machines he could actually sell his business for anywhere from three hundred thousand to four hundred thousand dollars so let's do the breakdown holy a vending machine selling for three hundred thousand to four hundred thousand dollars that's crazy that's crazy first you need a machine let's say a machine costs you 1500 bucks you need a cc reader for about 250 someone to move that's about 100 bucks you need inventory of about 250 total all in is about 2100 bucks fascinating part is you do not pay to the people where you put the vending machine you're just offering another service so he has them in low-income apartments hotels motels assisted living hospital segment then what do you put in it soda water snacks all bought from costco in bulk how do you run the business it's crazy how she says you don't pay to the places you put it because if that's actually true then that means you have less in expenses and less in business expenses so you're making more profit but i don't know about that part i haven't tried it but maybe it's true he uses this software to track it software tells him everything about what to fill when to fill that equates to him now making closer to 20k a month as he's onboarded more machines and at better locations join the newsletter for free weekly ideas just like this he makes Okay, that was the first one. So it was about a vending machine. The guy's making near 20K a month and the business is worth 300 to $400,000 if he wants to sell it. He uses the software to track his sales, what he needs to put, uses inventory. And she said it costs around 1200 I'm pretty sure, to get it started. Or did she say 2100 to get started with this business? Which is pretty good amount for starting a business that could end up making you $10,000 a month, if not 20000 So for this one, it is good advice it's a good idea as well but it's really competitive it's also not that easy to get started you can try it you can go buy a vending machine for 800 bucks you can go put it somewhere buy some inventory like drinks and chips and everything like that and try that it's a really good business idea if you want to try it but again it is competitive and think about it yourself when you go to somewhere do you go straight to the vending machine and buy it no it's just those couple of times but he's probably picking up some crazy locations some very hot locations where people are actually buying it a lot and where people are needing it like airports will probably make you the most money maybe in front of hospitals maybe in front of some busy areas busy shopping centers so there wasn't much videos in the business so there wasn't much good videos so i'm going to search up finance to see if there's any good videos so finance, uh, let's see let's click on the first video things rich people won't tell you so i will one i already know this one's gonna be crazy you won't get rich on salary alone two inflation steals your wealth so invest three this is a big one buy assets not liabilities four never spend more than you make five this is really important pay yourself first always six compounding interest is the ultimate key things rich people won't tell i i agree with most of the things she said but paying yourself first i agree with that but i also don't agree with that if you're running a business you got to take care of the business expenses you got to take care of your employees and then take care of yourself but maybe she's talking about something else and paying yourself first i agree with most of the stuff she said and it's really good advice you start at 25 saving a hundred dollars a month and you do so every single month until you are 65 and put it in a good standard and poor's 500 index fund with average market returns you'd have a million dollars wow. but if you wait just 10 years a hundred dollars a month is 1200 a year for 10 years it's twelve thousand dollars not that much money if you wait 10 years 
and you start at 35, at 65, you'd have only $300,000. So those 10 years cost you $700,000 at $100 a month. And you started... This one is crazy because we go back to the company interested where she talked about it before. So investing a hundred dollars a month will, if you start 10 years later, will cost you $700,000. Yes, just investing a hundred dollars a month when you're 65. If you just start 10 years later at 35, it's going to cost you $700,000. Think about that, guys. The earlier you start, the more you earn and the more you learn, faster you earn. I'm gonna give you this iPhone 13, but I want it back in a year, okay? Random, but okay. If he wants it back in a year, I guess I could sell it now for $1,000, and then when Apple inevitably comes out with the iPhone 14, they'll discount this model. I'll buy it back for 600, thus I'll profit 400 bucks. Hmm. Hey, how's it going? Do you have that iPhone 13? Yeah, but to be honest, I sold it the day you gave it to me knowing the price would go down and then I bought it back again now that it's cheaper. So you borrowed my iPhone and when it came to returning it, you bought it back for less than what you sold it for, so you made a profit on me. Yeah, I guess. Then you've learned the lesson, my son. What lesson? I just showed you what shorting a stock is. You borrow a share of a stock and when it comes to returning it, if you can buy it back for less, you make a profit. If not, you'll take a loss. That took a year for you to explain? No, it took about 45 seconds, which is the length of this video. You better follow me now. Jeez. Uh, this one was good. And it's t uh, it says, reach that lesson on the marketing, on the market using an iPhone an uh, analogy. So this one is uh, talking and showing you or telling you what shorting a stock is. There's you just buying a stock, but there's also people who short stocks. And this was explained in 45 seconds. It's when you buy it, and then before you actually want to give it back or sell it, if you can buy it for cheaper, you're basically going to make profit. If not, you're going to lose money. This one was good advice. I give a thumbs up for that. You're a millionaire, right? Tell me the five best stocks to buy to get rich. Actually, I'm going to give you 500 stocks you have to buy now. That seems like it'll take a while. Nope, just write it down. V-O-O. -O. Um, what are the 499 others? It's actually an index fund that tracks the S&P 500. Basically means that when you buy one, it's the equivalent of buying a fraction of 500 of the largest companies in the U.S. like Tesla, Amazon, Facebook, and Apple. I'm going to go buy this now. But we haven't even gotten to the fun part. How are you going to invest without paying taxes? I guess you'll have to buy Follow to learn more. Uh, this one is good as well. So when you want to invest using compound interest and you want to just invest that $100 a month, $200 a month, how much ever it is, investing into an index fund is one of the best things you can do, one of the safest investments, but also one of the greatest investments with the greatest return. Because what that does is invests your money into a kind of basket of full of the biggest stocks. It invests your money into a basket that has all the biggest stocks so amazon tesla facebook google all of the biggest stocks are in that basket so what it helps you do is grow your money more safely but also more cheaper so instead of you buying one share of tesla for around 1200 or 600 or 800 you're gonna go buy a share of an index fund which already owns tesla in their index fund Here's what the middle class think is rich. I'm 35, finally have enough money saved up to buy this house. I can pay it off in 30 years when I'm supposed to retire at 65, and hopefully I can live off of my 401k if the market hasn't crashed by then. Here's how the wealthy view rich. I took some risks, so now I have a bunch of income producing, cash flowing assets that can take care of all of my liabilities, like my house and all my other monthly expenses, as well as awesome vacations and hanging out with my family. I now have the time to be able to start businesses, take more risks, and even though I'm in a lot of debt, all of my income producing assets are taking care of all of that debt. I don't know man, your way sounds a little risky to me. Relying on two assets and working your entire life, that sounds risky to me. That's why I follow Avery for all the finance tips. Here's what the middle- uh, this, this video was great, this video was amazing. What it's really talking about is how different class of people think about wealth and money and richness basically. Wealthy people think of it differently than just the middle class or the average people. And he explained that really amazingly in that video. Wealthy people like taking risks because they know in the long term, if they take calculated risks and they make good decisions, it's going to pay off better than just working at your 9 to 5, doing the same thing forever, buying a house, paying it off in 30 years. 
and relying on your 401k. That is a good way to live your life if you want to, but if you want to expand what you can do with your life, because obviously we only live once, you can try to take some more risks because that's one thing you should do. Now we're going to look at another topic because I feel like those topics are some good videos, but let's look at side hustles. Side hustle. Because I feel like some people would want me to react to some of these videos. So let's start with this one. My best side hustle is to make 9K a month. Number one, Fiverr. Fiverr is an app you can download in the app store in which you just sell your service. This is a list of some of the services that people sell. You can easily charge $50 or more depending on what you're doing. And Fiverr already have a huge platform so you don't have to worry about marketing. You just throw up your service and wait for the money to come in. If you sell your service at $50 and you get five sales a day, that's $250 a day. Next thing we got on the list, we got flipping couches. To flip a couch, you can go on either OfferUp or Facebook Marketing and search up free couches. You're gonna go pick up the couches and clean them up. You can easily sell them from 200 to 600 plus. If you sell eight couches a week for $300, that's 2,400 a week. And add it up for a month, let me know what you get. Number three is just like the last one, which is reselling old items. It don't have to be yours. You can go to thrift stores like Goodwill or any other ones that you know. Pick up any items you can. They're gonna be selling there for dirt cheap. You can easily clean them up. Take some better quality pictures and remarket them on either Facebook or OfferUp. Or you can even do Craigslist. Or you can even sell them on Markari or Poshmark. Number four is DoorDash. You can easily make $300 a day doing DoorDash. To show y'all, right after this video, I'm literally going to do a video of me DoorDashing. And for side hustle number five, check in the comments down below. The Let's check his comments. Five real estate bird dog. They will pay you five hundred thousand for each property they in the close on. All right. So here is uh, my thoughts on this five side hustle ideas. I'll count it four because I don't really understand the last one. If you do, let me know in the comments down below. But it was freelancing on Fiverr, cash reselling, reselling random items. And what was the last one? Let's scroll through this video to see if we can find them the up. Last one. Takes them better. DoorDash. You can easily DoorDash. make DoorDash. I love this video. Maybe. It some people don't agree with me, but sitting around doing nothing, that's not going to get you anywhere. Instead, go trade your time for money. If you have nothing to do, trade your time for money because you won't lose it. I know people, wealthy people, successful people say, don't trade your time for money. But if you have nothing to do, what's the point of you sitting home and keep on scrolling like t around TikTok like I'm doing right now? But I'm creating content out of it. I'm still doing something. So DoorDash, reselling, flipping couch, Fiverr, freelancing, those are some good things you can do. They are competitive. DoorDash is maybe one of the easiest ones you can do. Reselling is going to take time. Couch flipping is going to take time. Fiverr is going to take time because the people that's already done it for a long time mm -hmm. on Fiverr, they're going to show up first. That was basically it for today's video. Hope you guys did get some free value. If you did, smash that like button. Obviously, turn on your bell notification for more videos. And I'll see you in the next one.